Hello everyone. Namaskar. Raj Krishna this side and let's solve one more problem from trigonometry. So this time we have in front of us sin pi by 10 with which we are familiar with plus sin 13 pi by 10. Okay. So what happens to me uh, is I am more familiar with degrees as compared to radians. So pi by 10 I am comfortable with because I in degrees also know it is 18 degree. What about 13 pi by 10? I would have to anyway break that using either complementary angles or the idea of allied angles. So to do so what thing I will use is something I get confused most often. So what I do I simply change roughly think of that in uh, uh, degrees because that looks better to me. So pi by 10 you know it is 18 degrees. Okay. So 18 multiplied by 13 is there. So 18 into 10 is 180. 18 into 3 is 54. So it will be 234 degree equivalent to 234 degree. Now because I got 234 degree I can now make an idea that okay uh, exactly 234 if I want to find so if I I have to make it smaller the angle I have to make smaller in order to find the value. So I know how to make it smaller. I can either write this as 180 plus something or 270 minus something. Okay. So 180 plus something or 270 minus something. So let's use 270 minus something. I can also use uh, 180 plus something. Okay. Both will more or less get the same result. Okay. So if I use 270 minus, so I will have to use uh, 6, uh, will make it 40 and 36. So this is inside sign. Now you know whenever you encounter 270, you will have to change the name from sign it goes to cos. And uh, what about sign in the third quadrant? Because 270 lies here and minus 36 that means you are going in the third quadrant add sugar 2 so in third quadrant tan and cot are positive definitely cos is going to be negative of 36 degrees okay this is what I got when I use 270 minus now the if I had used sine uh, 180 degrees and this is uh, plus 54 degrees then what so sine 180 plus 54 again third quadrant so definitely I would have to uh, add a negative to it and name this will not change this time because 180 is there so now uh, this will remain sine only and 54 degrees sine 54 degree again not the value which we have learned so again with the help of complementary angle I will again change this because uh, I can write this as sine 90 minus 36 and sine 90 minus theta is cos theta so minus cos 36 degree same thing you are getting because look what angles we are familiar with we, we are familiar with sine 18 value we are familiar with cos 36 value we are familiar with sine 36 value we are familiar with uh, cos 18 value and the complementary of these that means cos of uh, 72 degrees sine of 54 degrees cos of 54 degrees and sine of 72 degrees. So our angle which is cos 36 is straight here. So we can use because values of LHS we know we, RHS is also equivalent to this. Okay. So uh, no need to think sine 54 is also uh, the same. So I have now successfully changed if you would have used sine 54 again but uh, those values uh, we don't remember directly in our mind 
so whenever it comes to our mind our mind will first go to the value which i have written in the left hand side and if it doesn't find then it will think okay let's find the complementary so that's how my mind work i'm not uh, known to you so i have successfully got cos 36 cos 36 value is similar to sin 18 sin 18 is root 5 minus 1 by 4 cos 36 is root 5 plus 1 by 4 so whatever is written is minus of cos 36 so if i change it in degree for some time so sin 18 degree this is minus of cos 36 degree and this i am working with lhs right now okay so sin 18 value as i told you under root 5 minus 1 divided by 4 and this is under root 5 plus 1 divided by 4 better use brackets this time 4 comes as an lcm under root 5 minus 1 minus under root 5 minus 1 okay so there you go this gets cancelled minus 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 2 by 4 so this gives you minus half which is your rhs so this portion was not but to think that how to change this because uh, now if you think uh, of making this pi by 2 my because you exactly don't know uh, what this angle is if it is written in terms of radians but whenever I converted this in terms of degrees if it's a small angle then okay we can make a sense of what to do next okay from here I usually don't get an idea how to move ahead but when I change it in terms of degrees I get a flow as to how to make it so this is what I wanted to teach you with the help of this problem so that's it from my side thanks again